Hi friends! Over the past few months or so, I got the wonderful opportunity to score some cinematic and trailer music for Sonic Forces Overclocked. As someone who loves Sonic, this is a super cool project. And today, I'm going to go over a bit of what I did and cover some behind the scenes work on the composition process. So let's start off with actually the last thing I scored for the team, but the first thing anyone saw from me, the teaser trailer featuring the character of Infinite. For this, it's just a short 40 or so second animation, and compositionally, it is super simple. Everything is about a building arc of Infinite's ostinato from the game. Structurally, it's about A, A prime, B, with an introduction to the motif. Then, as we switch to the lovely CG animation by Tiago Marquez, we get a bigger orchestral expansion of the idea, and then a climax as Infinite shows his new power. Because it's so simple musically, however, it allowed for a lot of cool extra polish to happen when it came to the production. I'm happy to say there's an abundance of live recording going on. We start off with this little flute stinger, which bookends the beginning and end of the trailer. This is actually me playing my pan flute here, but digitally lowered an octave and put through a reverb to give it this big, low effect. It's really kind of surprising how much power is packed in this thing if you can use it right. But right after that opening, we get our melodic elements, which are introduced here with my tongue drum and, hold on, hold on, <clears throat> bass Tashio Goto. With the tongue drum, it was simple, just playing Infinite's theme with these little rubber mallets and panned a bit to the left to avoid getting in the way of the center dialogue. And with the bass Taisho, it's more or less reinforcing that same idea, but panned a bit to the right. I'm playing it here at its pretty much highest register and amped through archetype Cory Wong, which gives it a nice clean tone that I hope people more or less mistake for a guitar. Also throughout the piece, the bass Taisho is being used as well, a bass, but uh, on a very separate track and put through a whole different set of effects. As we move on to the A prime section, that's where we really bring in the bigger orchestral elements, and in terms of strings, that was mostly handled by my Yukio. Its range is basically that of a violin, so what I did was record each string line three times to emulate a chamber-sized violin section here on the upper string, and then a chamber-sized viola section here on the lower string. Then I layered in some string samples just to give it that little extra oomph. I took the same approach with my percussion here. I used a mix of my Native American drum and Irish Bowran to create a frame drum ensemble, which I then layered and for some of the lines altered the pitch to create some low end thump. Then I added in some hybrid percussion samples to give that bit of extra oomph. Also in this section, I brought out my noise box here. I recorded some extra clangs and bangs to add some grit and roughness as it builds towards Infinite's eruption. Other than that, there's some minor ambient pads and textures and because it's a trailer, there's some big trailer brass, which unfortunately isn't live, but it's also the type of sound that isn't super realistically live in the first place. But other than that, that's pretty much the teaser track done and dusted. Here it is in full with the music isolated. Um. 